You are currently looking at a collection of completely man-made islands that about 15 years ago didn't even exist. And I am both so incredibly confused and intrigued to understand why they've mostly been standing there empty and forgotten for the past 10 years and what their future currently holds. I'd like to welcome you to the World Islands. Introducing the World a place beyond imagination and an epic achievement. This multi-billion dollar experiment built off the coast of Dubai as an attempt to resemble an outline of the Earth from the sky has been puzzling me for months now. So as a first stop on my trip leaving America, I decided to go to Dubai and see if I could get to it up close. And to my complete surprise, after lots of emails back and forth, I ended up in the same room as the creator of these islands and somehow found myself as the first official guest to stay overnight. The three month longest trip ever away from LA since we moved here, since I moved here. Peace, dude. See yeah. you later. See you later. All right. See you later. <laughs> uh, love you, dude. Love you too, buddy. Peace, guys. Bye. Take care of yourself. See you on the other side. First international trip in a long time. Here we go. Yeah. Dude, I just saw your video talking about how you're leaving. Oh, no it's way. Crazy. It's 1 a.m. finally arriving. Hi there. Today is actually a very special day and I forgot to tell you about it earlier uh, because, um, well, uh, because I was distracted. Today is actually the first day that Seek Discomfort will be taking a step towards becoming a more environmentally conscious and friendly brand. It is also the day that we are launching our Seek Connection drop and our essentials, which are all the clothes that I'll be wearing throughout this video. As a gift from us for the holidays, any purchases you make for the next seven days, you'll get a free Seek Discomfort bracelet, which is an amazing reminder that getting out of your comfort zone is the ultimate way to grow and connect with the those around you. As I mentioned earlier, being mindful of our environmental impact is a huge priority for us with Seek Discomfort. And for that, our first two steps in improving in that area is switching to 100% organic cotton, which means less water, less energy, less harmful chemicals in the production of the clothes. And then the second thing that we're doing is switching to plant-based, recycled, and biodegradable packaging. The Seek Connection drop is available for the next seven days, and our essentials are now gonna stay on the website. I think it's now time for me to tell you why these islands have been basically empty for the past 10 years. The goal for the World Islands was to expand Dubai's limited waterfront and create an island environment just outside of the bustling city. The construction of the 300 man-made islands began in 2003 and was officially finished five years later in 2008. Not the best timing for a massive real estate project. Because even though about 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors, with a global financial crisis, most private owners decided to completely halt their construction for the time being. On top of that, solving the logistical challenge of how to bring materials out to build on the islands and then eventually finding sources of water and power to live on the islands also delayed some developers. Now, getting permission to go out to the islands is a little bit hard to get. So while I was waiting for answers, I decided to start with a bird's eye view from above. We've arrived at the skydive Dubai drop zone, but we're not going skydiving. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Let's go check it out. What? Is this what we're flying? No way. Okay, well, to start the day, we were about to take off in this little gyrocopter. All right, we're taking off. Woo! 
That was freaking awesome. Makes me even more excited to go out there today. After doing some digging, I found that there is only one island currently open to the public, Lebanon Island. Opened about eight years ago as a day party venue, it seemed like my best option for now to actually get onto the islands. This is about to be really interesting. docked at one of the very few islands that's actually built out. It's called The Island. Behind us, the heart of Europe was supposed to be finished this year. But I'm guessing because of COVID, it's been pushed back quite a lot. Do you hear it? Thank you so nice. much. Not many people here. It looks like there used to be a lot of people here, and I don't know if it's because of COVID or what, but you can just still tell that it's been a little bit of, of time since it's been built, and it's probably hard to maintain. Oh, wow, there's a pool? Nice. It's both like a mix between like this dreamy paradise place, and it's like an element of eeriness of just seeing the construction happening in the background that is leaving you kind of so curious about what the future holds for this place. One of the girls on the boat with us was saying that she comes out here almost every weekend to just relax. She's been living in Dubai for a while and Lebanon Island, the one that we're on right now, used to be much more of kind of like a party island where people would come out on the weekends and just turn up. <laughs> and now uh, it's kind of more used as like a place to come and relax and isolate yourself away from noise of the city. After spending some time discovering the island, I felt like I had arrived at one of the strangest but also most unique landscapes I'd ever witnessed. Our trip to Lebanon Island was an interesting first glimpse, but didn't give me a whole lot of answers when it came to the future of the world islands as a whole. After extensively brainstorming with our friends from Visit Dubai to get some answers, I was eventually invited to one of the restricted private islands currently under construction, Coronation Island, part of South America. I was told I would not only be able to meet with the creator of the World Islands, but they also told me that they'd be interested in letting me be the very first guest to actually stay overnight on this brand new island. So I don't think anyone's like really gotten access to this island yet. So you guys are probably going to be one of the first people to film here. That's Dude, cool. that's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm grateful we got to make this work, man. like we've arrived I had no idea that there were islands that were actually built out out here but uh, looks like there are some villas okay let's go explore <laughs> this is insane what Mohammed, this is way more built out than even Lebanon Island. I think they're waiting for it to get to a point where it's actually very much livable. Right. Before they get people to, to right. actually come and live this here. This looks pretty livable to me. There's a pool. I thought coming out here would help me clarify things, but I'm just more confused now. What? This is like brand new. This room is incredible. I have, this is what the rest of the island is. Uh, I'm very happy to stay here tonight. Okay, well, we have uh, a tour from somebody who works on the properties here, and we're gonna go explore, I think, three of the villas that are built out. <laughs> you can literally smell the brand new furniture. So all of these different villas are gonna be rentable, basically like a hotel in the future. I totally thought that it was like privately owned villas, but I guess it's just up for rent. On to villa number two. Bambuilo. Bamboo villa. Yeah, see the design and everything. Yeah. Structure is bamboo. Amazing. 
see the view inside. Oh, wow. Is there going to be anyone else here at night or is it just me? No, only him. Only him. No, all the villa empty now. No, okay. no. Only you are you the king. <laughs> you first one you come. Huh? Yeah. Well, this is probably the nicest one uh, we've seen so far, at least from the outside. It's funny, you can still see there's like some construction material just on the floor. And then you turn around and it's just like a absolutely luxurious villa right here with its own pool. Uh, when I came out to Dubai to try to make a video about the World Islands, I was not expecting to arrive at something that's this built out. I mean, look at this place. I was totally expecting to make a video about empty islands uh, on, off the coast of Dubai, but looks like it's turning out to be a very different story. This is why I love traveling. This is why I love telling stories about unusual places, because it's, it's never what you expect it to be. This is your favorite? Yes. We have here four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. You, we keep, can go you keep saying each one is your yeah, favorite. Yeah, this is his favorite one <laughs> until we get there. Yeah, exactly. Every it's new one, building. you're like, this is your favorite. Let's go, let's go this villa. Let's, let's go. go. Going up to the second floor of this villa. This is the biggest one we've seen so far. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. That one? Yeah. That's the chairman's house. Okay. Yeah. Biggest one. How do they even bring all of the materials up here? Like, do you have to ship it by boat every, yeah. every day? Weekly. Weekly? It must be so difficult to build here. Imagine you just bring a whole boat of things and then you realize you forgot the screwdriver. Send the boat back and we gotta go pick up the screwdriver. 630 villas are gonna be built on just this specific island. Only this one. Only this one. And then they have 10 other islands that are right now literally just plots of sand that they're gonna build out to look like this. Well, uh, another plot twist in the story. We're gonna interview the chairman right now uh, who built out this whole place or who's in charge of it. This is so funny, we're waiting in his house. <laughs> it's a really nice house. Nice to meet you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, nice to meet you. This is a beautiful property that you built. Yes, we were the first people to build a proper uh, hotel. Yeah. So uh, hopefully in December we'll open. We will try to do something organic so when you are an island, you want to feel like an island. Mm. You want to sit inside and feel the bamboo, the feel. You don't want to feel as if you are in the city. So were you a part of also building the actual islands? Yes, yes. I, I developed uh, all the islands. Okay. Uh, I developed the Pan, Pan Jumeirah. Wow. Then we developed this one. And then we developed Dera. So from 60 kilometers of beach in Dubai, we end up with 850 kilometers. Nobody mm. ever built or reclaimed island the way we did. <laughs> nobody, nobody even tried. How do you protect the sand from going? And how do you keep the water clear and circulating? So we started with seven continents, and then we found that these continents are too big. Maybe we make them small, so we made them islands. The breakwater, yeah. that's the rocks that are protecting this area. So no matter how bad the sea, it doesn't affect us as much. You get water out shipped or do you recycle it? Or we, no, we, we desalinate. Okay. So we desalinate water. That's amazing. So you don't have to ship that much water then? Nothing, nothing. Tell you, even the, the garbage, we uh, convert it to gas. All the organic uh, material, we uh, don't ship it out. So the only thing we ship out is plastic, yeah. uh, glass and tin. Mm. Everything else here. So if it is cartons or paper, it can become a composite for the agriculture. And then all the food left over goes into the uh, system. What comes out of the methane gas. So the methane gas it goes to the special oven and they cook with it. Wow. So it reduced how much garbage I sent huh. out of the island. And this has been done a year ago. So you're solving all the problems we, we of like what it's like to... Necessities, you know, you have <laughs> to find ways that are more cost Yeah, creative problem solving. Well, that was really cool learned a lot from uh, the people developing this island and we finished right on time for sunset. Whew. You're riding? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I have this private island for myself now. There's apparently a chef here that's gonna make me dinner. Other than the chairman and his friends and family, there's nobody else that stayed here. So uh, I guess I'm the inaugural guest of the world islands. I just have this villa for myself with no supervision. Dubai is known for luxury and uh, they've outdone themselves. This is uh, the bougiest 
thing that I have ever done in my life. And I also have my personal pool. Wow, <laughs> this is so extra. But I'm here for the experience and uh, gonna enjoy this place while I have it. You know when you're a kid and you fantasize about being on your own private island? I wasn't really actually expecting uh, that it would happen one day. Wow, look at this. Thank you so much. The chef on the island just brought me food. Whoa, is this two hamburgers? A pizza? <laughs> two hamburgers, <laughs> a salad, mm -hmm. and a pizza. Very happy. so much for watching that wraps up my stay here in this beautiful villa in the world islands remember to subscribe and check out the seek discomfort drop out right now link is in the description below we're so excited about all of the dozens and hundreds of new designs coming out this holiday we've worked so hard on making it happen and we're so excited about the positive feedback we've gotten so far our goal is to continue making seek discomfort a source of positive change around the world and also remain a way for all of you to identify each other in public it is so awesome to see the photos on instagram of some of you meeting because you saw each other wearing seek discomfort so check out the link in the description below to join the seek discomfort family and continue to contribute to our ability to exist as yes theory and create positive change around the world i hope that you're doing well that you're staying safe and I'll see you very soon.